and welcome to the Great Ocean Road. I'm out here at the Twelve Apostles and it's absolutely stunning. Uh, we had another little lockdown here in Melbourne for five days. Bare feet on the sand here, just walking through. Um, just come down to Gibson Steps here for my first location of the day. Uh, and it's kind of on the south side of the main Twelve Apostles lookout. And you kind of sort of traverse these steps, kind of etched out and carved into the cliff up there. They kind of zigzag down the cliff to get down to the beach level here. Uh, and there's two massive sea stacks out there that I'm walking towards uh, as part of the 12 or eight or nine apostles, whatever's left now. Uh, it's a bluebird sky day, uh, but that's okay because I've got a few ideas for uh, sunset tonight, maybe some astro and then sunrise tomorrow. There's no cloud in the sky, but that's okay. What I'm gonna use is the sun behind these sea stacks to so get a nice golden glow coming through. So I'm thinking sort of a, a high contrast. The sea stacks are gonna be in shadow anyway, uh, but get that nice sort of afternoon golden light coming in through the sea stacks. Maybe work with the shadows in between to see how far. Once the sun gets a little bit lower in the sky, uh, it's gonna extend those shadows out from the sea stacks. So maybe hang around here for about half an hour or so. Maybe get a sun start behind the sea stack. It's a little bit far out to sea, but um, bare feet and uh, board is on. So maybe I'll go knee deep into the water and maybe get a sun star coming through, who knows? So spend a bit of time here before sunset and then race back up those stairs, back to the car, and then gonna head to the main sort of 12 apostles view for sunset. Uh, and even if I don't get there sort of right on sunset, what I'm looking for is that kind of twilight, maybe purple blue glow even after the sun is fully set to get that kind of even lighting across the scene, maybe do a long exposure uh, of the main sort of 12 apostles there. So we'll get started here and hopefully it's a good little session out of the Great Ocean Road. Now, I don't know if you could see from that view, but the sun was a lot further to the north than I was expecting. Uh, so I'm not gonna get that sun star through the sea stacks, uh, but that's okay. So instead, what I've actually done is bump my aperture right up to f2.8, nice and wide, uh, which allows for a nice shallow depth of field. And I'm trying to focus on the sea stacks. And if you saw in that video there, get nice and close down to the water. And hopefully that's a little bit out of focus, a little bit sort of bokeh, that kind of thing. Nice sort of soft, smooth water in the foreground that's not in focus. Uh, and then looking back towards the sea stacks in the distance. Once again, just trying a few things. There's no clouds to work with, so it's a good chance to be a little bit more creative and just try a few different things while we're out here. The sun's directly on me, as you can probably see, winking with one eye open. Uh, but it's nice, maybe spend another 10 minutes here, getting a few different angles and compositions. Uh, and then we'll head over to the sunset spot. Well, not a bad session down at Gibson Steps there. It wasn't quite the sun star that I was after, uh, but I think some of those abstract shots, uh, sort of the F2.8 looking through the incoming waves uh, turned out all right, considering the bright blue sky and no clouds in the sky. So you make do with what you got. Uh, so for sunset, we're about maybe 20 minutes before the sun dips down below the horizon. Uh, I've come out to the 12 Apostles here and come out to the other side, looking back south towards the 12 Apostles. Uh, it's not a very photographed view out here. Uh, everyone kind of goes to the main uh, sort of lookout on the southern side, looking sort of a bit towards the northwest. Uh, but from here, I'm looking back down the coast the other way, looking down. Uh, I need quite a nice vantage point of rocks here that isn't as often seen. So a bit of golden light coming through at the moment. And then after the sun actually dips below the horizon, uh, hopefully some of those nice sort of pastel colors come out and I can do a few nice little exposures. The waves are coming up over the beach and crashing around the rocks there. So uh, if you might get some nice sort of smoky, smooth water. Uh, Cause I can't get close to the water to show that action and motion in the waves. I'm a bit removed from it. I want to kind of go for that dreamlike 
scene where the rocks and sea stacks are nice and sharp and crisp coming out of the water uh, but that water moving around the bottom and towards the cliffs there it's kind of nice and sort of smilky smooth so take a few more shots out here wait for that sun to dip and just see how this lot sort of changes through sunset and then twilight and then blue hour after as well and yeah get a bunch of different shots and see what turns out all right sun's just dipped below the horizon but had enough time to get a range of shots of the 12 or three apostles here. Uh, it's a really nice view and I haven't seen too many photos like this so should have come away with a few nice shots that I'll put up on the screen now. Uh, it's using a mix of the sort of direct sunlight first when the sun was striking the rocks. Uh, it had some nice shrubs in the foreground which I used to kind of blur out the foreground and lead into the, the sea stacks there. Uh, and then after the sun just dipped below the horizon so that nice soft even lighting across the scene as well. And I'm not quite done yet out here, maybe, if the conditions are right. So because it's nice clear skies above, uh, it's starting to get into Milky Way season here with the Milky Way core rising up over sort of the southeastern horizon. Uh, and the thing that might kind of work out interesting tonight is the moon is about three or four hours behind the sun. So it's still up in the sky at about 30-40% brightness. So in about two or three hours time, once the sun set so it's dark enough for the stars to come out that kind of 30 percent moon might be enough to sort of shine light onto the sea stacks while not blowing out the sky because if you had a, a full moon 100 percent brightness it would just blow out the sky and you wouldn't get any stars visible on the camera because it's just bright from the moonlight it's actually really quite bright at night so at a 30 percent moon it's kind of enough to light up the landscape and see the details and textures while not being too overpowering that you're not going to see the milky way and stars above so that's probably about three hours away uh, but i might hang out here um, see what the light does what the moon does hopefully these clouds do stay away now and then maybe get a few astro shots at about 11 pm tonight uh, so if they turn out all right i might put them up at the end of this uh, fingers crossed who knows we'll find out and then we'll come back out here again tomorrow morning for some nice uh sort of blue hour shots of the main 12 apostles look out looking back towards these sea stacks Out here at the Twelve Apostles again, out of the main uh, lookout, out from the visitor centre here. Uh, it's a pretty easy, gentle walk out here. Nice for sort of day tourists to come out, and it's the the main kind of iconic view of the, the Twelve Apostles. But it's about 20 minutes before sunrise, and I've been here for about maybe half an hour before, just catching that blue hour light uh, down onto the sea stacks. So getting a few 30 second long exposures uh, with my telephoto lens. It's going nice and tight on the rocks, no foreground, no real cliffs to the side, just making those sea stacks the sort of the star attraction of the photo. There's no clouds. Uh, it's pretty hard to get foreground here. There's a sort of a boardwalk around the cliff, so there's not too many options for, for compositions. Pretty much got the place to myself out here, except for a few flies and crows just lurking around. Um, but I'll keep on taking a few photos uh, through the sunset, uh, through the sunrise even, and maybe get some nice sort of red direct light on the rocks as well and see how that lights up the sea stacks. Let's keep on going. That was all right. <laughs> After the sun dipped above the horizon there, I was kind of striking the sea stacks directly, get that rice, rich, warm glow. When it was a little bit darker, I was able to do 30 second exposures and sort of smooth out that water around the base of the rocks. Whereas here, because the sun had risen, it was brighter, I had to really bring that down that shutter speed. I think that 1 20th and then up to 1 50th of a second at the end there. They're both different effects. Um, I'm not sure which one I prefer. Um, I'll take a look through the on the computer and see see which my favourite is. You know that, um, but yeah, the nice little session out here. Sunset before some astro in the middle. Got about four hours sleep in between, and then back out here again for sunrise. So a three-hour drive back to Melbourne. But yeah, not a bad little session. So I'll put a few of those best photos up now. So thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, take care.